If you're creating a SaaS product and would like to give your users the ability to use their own brand colors within the app, there's a real neat way to do this. Let's explore. So the functionality we'll be creating is basically creating a custom color swatch with a repeating group, then allowing customers to basically choose their brand color or choose a color and then just give them a preview of what these colors would look like. Okay, the same thing would work if you wanted to create, for instance, a custom color. But let's explore first how we present a set of colors and then allow the selection to happen. Okay, here we are on the canvas. So what I've done is I've created a repeating group, okay? And in the repeating group, we have a group. That group is just a circle. Now, the trick here is to actually create an option set. Create an option set, call it colors, and then create as many colors as you like. Now, the trick to this is that Bubble is expecting a hex code. So what we do is I actually went over to colors.co, found a color palette I liked, this one here, and then basically just copied these hex codes and pasted them into the corresponding colors, the corresponding attributes here. Okay, so for blue, I just pasted the hex code. So this allows us as an app creator to present a set of colors in a repeating group. So over on the repeating group, we would just set the type of content to colors, our option set, and then just on the data source, get all the colors. And then we're showing the, then we have the group. And instead, instead of this default swatch, we're just adding the dynamic data right here. the current cells colors, and we choose the hex code. Okay, so that makes it nice and dynamic. So what about selecting these? Well, what I've done is on the user data type, ignore these other fields, I've created a new field. It's just a text field and it's called color. So under a user, I'm just saving that hex code to this color area. So let's do that for my account. So I'm going to run as. So by default, everything's just black, okay. I have a conditional that says if the current user's color is empty, then make it black. I've done similar things here, black and the black outline. But then when I do make a selection, let's see what workflow I'm running. So the workflow has been run on this group. It's holding the color. And all it's saying is make changes to the current user. And here is the color, okay? So current cells colors hex. Remember, we pointed to that option set. So over in the data, now I've saved this color as my brand color. And if it was a SaaS product, I could use this brand color all over the application. Now to show a user that a selection has been made, what I've done is I've just dropped in a material icon, uh, just a check mark. You can use any check mark you like. That's hidden by default, but I have a conditional that says when the current user's color, when that color field, which is a text field, is current cells colors hex, okay, that attribute on the option set. If that is a match, then it's visible. And this is the result. 
Now, if a user did know the hex code, what we could do is, so let's pretend that they do obviously have a brand color, most do. What we could do is just create an input up here. This could say custom. And I could auto bind this, okay? I could auto bind. So first I have to go over. So I first have to set the type of content to a user. And that's the current user, which allows me to auto bind this color field. Just have to modify the privacy. Current user. When this user is current user then allow auto bind allow auto binding on this particular field okay i've got another video about privacy we're not going to cover it here i'm just setting this up so it works quickly which means now we can use any hex code so i'm going to go grab a random hex code let's say for instance uh, let's say this yellow here ffc 300 copy that So it was that, if I paste that, hit enter, and you can see that the color has changed. So go ahead and create your own nice, neat little branding tool for your SaaS product and see where else around your application that you can use this brand color. I'm sure your customers will be really thrilled.